Hello everybody, welcome to the season 4 premiere of Stadium Spotlight. This is a show where we look at different unique stadiums in the show 24 and today, just like every year, we're going to start off with one of my own stadiums here in the show 24. And this year, you're able to transfer stadiums from 23 to MLB The Show 24. And this is where this stadium came from. This was the first stadium I built for MLB The Show 23. And I'm going to show it off here in MLB The Show 24. I'll have a tutorial out soon how to transfer stadiums from 23 to 24. All the stadium information for this stadium will be in the description as always. You can check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the series and want more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have your own stadium you want me to look at, make sure to put your online ID and the name of the stadium in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. And with that, let's get on with the tour. So this stadium seats 25,000 people. Down the left field line, it is 300. To dead center field, it is 403 with 404 being the furthest distance in left center field. And then down the right field line, it is 300. Behind home plate, nothing too special. We got two decks of seats and some owner suites on each side of home plate. And we got some lighting right above it on each side of home plate. In right field, the second deck continues and gets caught off right here where the bullpens are. To the back of the section, there's a building and it connects to this one right here. This is where the team offices are and everything like that. Going towards center field, we have two bullpens off the field. I'm so sad they didn't give us the ability to remove the bullpens from the field off the field, but I went ahead and added my own because I love when people add them. It got some seats surrounding the bullpens as well. And right above it, we have a second deck concourse level. On the facade of it, we have a jumbotron and an out-of-town scoreboard. And on top of the building connecting to this one down right field line, we got a glove. And we got the top of these bars and some lighting. To right center field, we have a two-story bar. And right next to it, we got the Hall of Fame Memorial. To center field, we have the Petco Parks Batter's Eye. And right above it, we have some jumbotrons on the facade of the second deck. And the second deck continues all the way into left field. We got a bar right here, right in the middle of it. And on top of this building, we have the train from Minimum Park. So every time you hit a home run, you see it going across center field. As mentioned earlier, the second deck concourse continues here into left field. Right below it, we have another concourse level with some concession stands and some restrooms. And on the facade of the second deck, we do have some more scoreboards. On the second deck, we also have a home run pump and a snack stand and a huge jumbotron on the side of the warehouse. You can barely see it, but right here poking out right above the snack shack, it is a warehouse, the one from Camden Yards. And we have an apartment building where the fans can stand and watch the game from, kind of like the ones you see outside the stadium at Wrigley Field. And into left field, the second deck yet again continues, but this time instead of the team offices, it's just three stories of hotels. I love the hotels at Rogers Center, and I wanted to add a little bit something like that to my own stadium. So I went ahead and put it right above the stands in left field. So center field, we do have a skyscraper. This is where hotels and apartments are. I wanted to add to the scenery, and I thought this was perfect for it. And talking about scenery, in the distance, we do have a mountain range adding snow to the background of stadiums. So I added a mountain range to the outside of the stadium to add to the scenery i just love scenery to baseball stadiums just adds to the immersion i love it and out to the stadium nothing too special only that the stadium was built right next to a giant lake it's definitely not the most realistic environment you'll see at a stadium but when you're playing you don't see this y'all judge for yourself y'all download the stadium and play it yourselves and tell me what y'all think this is what it looks like from above home plate this is what it looks like from above center field And here's a bird's eye view. And that's pretty much it for the stadium. So let's go ahead and hop over to Home Run Derby and try to hit some nukes on this stadium. So here we are at Asher World Park playing the Home Run Derby. And I don't know if y'all play the Home Run Derby yet or any MLB The Show at all this year. But they were talking about a power creep this year. And my goodness, do I notice it. 480, first home run by Babe Ruth. I'm um, going to try to hit one 600 feet. I'm pretty sure I can hit one 600 feet. 494. It's been a long time since I've played at this stadium. I know it was my first one last year in 23. And I'm really looking forward to 501. First one to 500 feet. But I'm really looking forward to building my next one. I'm going to have a live stream up at some point. I don't know if y'all watched the uh, AI to MLB The Show video. I'm so sorry I didn't complete that. But... I was able to transfer that stadium over to 24 and I really want to do a live stream building that stadium especially with Monday being the launch day so I always like to build my own stadium just to start the season off and it gives me experience in stadium creator. I don't build stadiums that often but I think the uh, the first stadium I always wanted to be my first for a stadium spotlight 
and this is the first time it's not a brand new stadium by me first round nine home runs 505 118 119 ex average exit view that's insane but um always like the first stadium to be an original one and then um from there on out um always love looking at y'all submitted stadiums i think so last year i wasn't able to get to a couple stadiums so i think what i'm gonna do the first two stadiums i'm gonna go and try to find in the vault and do videos on because i really felt bad for not being able to make videos i just was super busy with school work personal life so i just had no time and mlb the show really isn't that not pop well it's not popular but usually i keep playing throughout the uh the off season but i just didn't have any motivation to play it so I, that's why i didn't make videos uh, um, as long as I did last year but because I was busy playing a lot of other games a lot of other games I wanted to play like um, like Fortnite and Call of Duty and stuff like that but I'm hoping this year um, I, I make longer videos or videos longer I don't want to make longer videos just to you know I like to make them as short as possible but that's gonna end it Hank Aaron not able to get enough home runs and Babe Ruth is the first home run derby champion first standing spotlight and that's going to wrap it up for the video today thank you guys so much for watching first episode of season four i'm so excited for this year can't wait to see all y'all's creative stadiums make sure to comment below your online id and the name of the stadium so i can check it out and we can get and we can start making these videos so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch y'all in the next video peace hammer to right that one has the distance it's gone A towering blast. Did it? 0-2, here's the pitch. This one hammered deep to right, and it is gone. Home run. Circling the bases. Did it again. Home run number two of the game. It's 4-1. to one. It's never a bad thing adding some insurance runs, and that home run helped them do just that. But with two homers and two singles as well. This ball is crushed deep to left. This one's gonna go. Sends it out of here. That's home run number three of the game. And they add on. It's nine nothing. Just an impressive show of power from him in this ball game. He is a 